Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make your offers using Kajabi, including how to make offers with multiple products. So you can see here, I'm in my Kajabi backend. And so the way I'm gonna get into making an offer is I'm going to go to products, and then I will go to offers. And now I can see here, I can add a new offer. And so you're going to need to title your offer. So I'm gonna call it the Scientific Dissertation Academy Basic, and then I'm going to also name it full because this is gonna be if they pay all at once. The pricing for this is going to be $4.97, and I'm going to save it. So this is now my offer, and I can include a description of this offer. So my price is still going to be at $4.97. And then <clears throat> I'm going to add in um, my logo for this. So I'm just going to do the Scientific Dissertation Academy logo. And then here is where I want to actually add in my products. So I'm going to add in the Scientific Dissertation Academy and the community, and then I'm going to delete the Dissertation Academy. So now they'll get access to both of these products after paying once. And you can also um, only have one product or multiple products. You can just remove them using this X. So there's two, there's a couple options that you have a, around the access to the product. So the first one is I can allow them to only get access at a specific date. So they can pay whenever, but then they only get access at a specific date. Or I could also restrict that access. So if you're only giving one year of access, you can click restrict access, and then you can type in 365 days. So that after they get, um, after they buy it 365 days later, they won't be able to access it anymore. I'm not gonna do either of those. So after purchase, there's a couple things that it allows them to do. So one is it sends the member of, um, it sends the person who just signed up a confirmation email telling them that they just got into the program. Um, I can also give an affiliate commission. So if I have um, affiliates and they use a link that hits this offer, I can give them a 10% or whatever I want affiliate commission. I can also send a notification to my team so I can put in my email there to notify me once I get a new member. And then I can also send them to a thank you page as well once they've done that. So that's a couple options you have afterwards. Another option you have is to upsell. So once they buy into this, this is especially good if you have a, um, a course or a, a mini course that you want to add on. Um, you can add an upsell offer and so you just pick the offer you want to upsell and then once they purchase your initial course then all they have to do is click yes I want this upsell and then um, it will automatically get added on and they won't have to re-put in their information and you can also give them a specific deal after they buy this maybe they get something a little bit cheaper. You can also send a reminder um, if they abandon their cart, so if they add it to their cart but they never check out, you can send them a reminder email just to let them know, hey, you've added this, are you sure you don't want to get it? And then you can add automations. And what I really suggest is to add an automation um, that tags that person so that you know that they have bought this. So I'm gonna add an automation so that when the offer is purchased, I'm going to add a tag and then I can click here to create the tag. So now, even if I have multiple offers, everyone who has any access to this um, course will be tagged as being in the Scientific Dissertation Academy. So when I'm sending out email broadcasts saying, hey, come join the Scientific Dissertation Academy, they're not gonna have to see all of those because they've, they're already in the program. So I do suggest that you do tag a person whenever they're getting access to your program. And then I am going to save this. So now if I go to preview, you can see here, now you can edit all of this information down here, and here is where they would put in their email address and card number. So let's go into how to edit this information. So if you wanna edit what that page looks like, you can go to edit checkout, 
And now you can include um, the different, so I want to edit what this says. I can also edit what it says down here. And then you can put in some sales copy in here. So I'm gonna save that. And now I would suggest probably putting in a little bit more sales copy there, just reminding them what they're going to get if they um, put in their credit card numbers and things like that. So then I'm going to save this. So now when I go to preview, it has my new thing here and I'm gonna add in more sales copy below that um, once I get done. And so that is how you basically create an offer. Now, if you want to create an offer that allows basically a payment plan, um, that's done a tiny bit differently. So let's create a second offer that's going to allow them to have a payment plan. So I'm going to have it right now as the Scientific Dissertation Academy basic with a payment plan. And then I'm going to add in the actual uh, product that I want here. And I'm going to change this once I get in. And I'm going to say it's $4.97. So now I can edit my price. And here is where you have one-time payment or multiple payments. And so I want to hit multiple payments. And I'm going to choose my payment amount is $97 for six months. And they can pay in USD. And then the, <clears throat> the text override is now I can actually write in what it says instead of it um, doing it however it wants it to. So I'm going to say six monthly payments of $97. Save. Okay, so now it's six monthly payments of $97. Instead of it only being $4.97, I'm going to add in that same product. So now it has both products. And then again, I'm going to add that automation in. <clears throat> so when the offer is purchased, I want to add a tag, and I'm going to tag the exact same one I've already created before on my other product. So I can have all the same things where I'm sending a confirmation email to the person, and I can give an affiliate commission, and then I'm also going to upload the same thumbnail file for it. And then I can go to edit checkout again. And then again, I'm probably going to add more sales copy. So you can actually copy and paste the same thing on both of your templates, but this allows them to pay um, where Kajabi will automatically charge them every month the price that you've set versus where they can pay in full. That is how you can create your offers, both for a one-time payment and a multiple time payment if you want to give them the option of a payment plan. Um, if you want to test this out and go ahead and start making money using Kajabi, you can get my link below for a 28 day free trial on Kajabi. And if you want to see how to upload your offers into sales pages, that will be my next video coming out is how to connect these into a sales page and create your sales pages for your products.